You'll recall back in May when we started our investigation into voter registration discrepancies in Elton, we poured over the records, finding voters registered using wrong addresses and even empty lots. We also found voters having homestead exemption in one parish but voting in another. It led to many being removed from the voting rolls. It also spurred two recall petitions, the second of which was verified by the registrar in Jeff Davis Parish and moved along to the governor's office for approval. But everything came to a halt this week after Mayor Keisha Lemoyne filed a temporary restraining order, effectively stopping Governor John Bell Edwards from acting on that recall. In the suit, she raises concerns about Registrar Joanne Blair's competence, saying she, quote, has undeniably failed in her duty to conduct a thorough investigation into the recall petition. Lemoyne actually uses similar methods we used in our investigation to claim those who signed the petition weren't eligible to do so. She uses screenshots from Google Maps, text message exchanges, and Facebook as evidence. The mayor says some don't live in Elton. One is registered to vote at an address that's a vacant lot. Another registered to vote in another parish. And several who reportedly live somewhere other than the place on their voter registration cards. Whether this lawsuit leads to the petition being tossed out remains to be seen, but it has been successful in at least delaying a recall. The governor's office had a December 12th deadline to take action on the petition, but we're told because of this lawsuit, it's now in the hands of the court. That hearing has been set for Friday morning. Jillian Quarter, 7 News.